This is a bit. It can be either 0 or 1. A little bit lame. This is a qubit. It stores two values at the same time. Until we measure its value. A little bit better. The unmeasured state of the qubit is called superposition. Just like Schrodinger's cat. It's both dead and alive until we open the box. She's lucky this time. This is a classic computer. These 8 bits represent the letter A. In a quantum computer 8 qubits represent the letter A. But at the same time, they also represent B and C and all the characters that can be represented with 8 bits. Remember, that's because in superposition qubits are 1 and 0 at the same time. Qubits are cool. New notion. Entanglement. Two qubits in superpositions can be entangled. This allows deducing the value of one qubit if we know the value of another. This one's a snitch. Superpositions and entanglement allow quantum computers to be fast. They'll do at the same time a set of calculations that a normal computer does one by one. Quantum computers can be used for different simulations. For example, simulating chemical bondings to improve medicine. Or modding the hell out of Minecraft. Quantum computers are still in development and won't be available anytime soon.